Shalom from Jerusalem. It's Sunday a new week has begun here in Israel. I want to speak just a little bit about something that happened Friday actually. Uh, just as Shabbat entered here in the Holy Land, there was uh, an announcement, a great, great announcement that the Trump administration have decided to da -da -da -da, move the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem uh, just in time for Israel's Independence Day on May 14. And of course, this year it's going to be extra special because it's going to be the 70 anniversary. So of course, that was great news. That was breaking news. And uh, all of Israel is very, very excited about it. If you follow me and you know my beliefs, you would also probably figure out that, <laughs> that I think this is incredible. Donald Trump is doing what no other US uh, president have had the guts to do before, simply just doing what is right. Simply just look at history, look at the Jewish people history, look at the nation of Israel's history, look at Jerusalem. Jerusalem has never been the capital of any other nation or any other people than the Jewish people. So Donald Trump was actually just doing what was right. And he was just stating the obvious. Jerusalem has been the capital of Israel dating all the way back to King David. So we are going to move our embassy doing what was long overdue. So I absolutely applaud you, Donald Trump, for having the guts to do what no other leader around the world have had the guts to do. All embassies are located in Tel Aviv. And of course, it is to be expected. The Arab world, of course, is up in arms about this because now they are, they are saying, uh, you know, that is actually saying goodbye to uh, the two-state solution. And of course, they want East Jerusalem as the capital of a future Palestinian state. Uh, there is actually a former minister, a former Palestinian minister who is out saying by this decision, Donald Trump is playing God over another nation. <laughs> that is absolutely pathetic. There is one God and that is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. If you want to know what he says, you read the Bible. That's his word and that is actually equal the land of Israel that is equal the history of Israel. The only thing is that the world has bought into the lies and the propaganda against Israel, the lies of occupation, the lies and propaganda of a Palestinian state. That lie has been told so many times that that has been turned into the truth for all uh, the nations around the world. And that is why they are speaking about we need a two-state solution without even looking at what that is, what a two-state solution requires, where is the land going to be taken from the Jews to make a Palestinian state. It's going to be in the Gaza Strip, it's going to be uh, East Jerusalem, it's going to be all of Judea and Samaria, which they are calling uh, the occupied West Bank. If Israel gives that up, Israel won't be able to defend herself. Uh, the Palestinians will be able to sit and shoot down every flight going in and been out of Ben Gurion airport. So it is ludicrous. There will never, God forbid, be a Palestinian state. And finally, there is a guy in the White House who is saying, we're just going to recognize what is actually the truth. And that is Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. And for that reason, we need to move our embassy. So that's, of course, is a major, major project. It's a huge deal. Uh, there are so many employees that is all located in Tel Aviv right now. So the first step in this embassy move is going to be to move David Friedman, the U.S. ambassador and the closest staff of his to the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem, which is in the Amona neighborhood. If you have followed me for years, you know that I was living in that neighborhood. And every night when I was out walking, I passed that consulate. I have made many embassy videos or speaking about um, uh, the embassy and the consulate when I lived there. 
So that's where David Friedman will be stationed and that's where they're going to cut the ribbon on May 14 this year. And then they, it, they gradually are going to move the full staff. It's a major thing. It's going to cost hundreds of millions of dollars and I think they're going to build up a whole new complex also. So it's very, very interesting. Thank you, Donald Trump, for standing with Israel. Thank you for being the most pro-Israel president that we have ever seen in the White House. Someone who said he would move the embassy and then he actually did it. It's a rare breed in politics that you see someone who is actually doing good on what they promised. So we are excited here in Israel. The, the month of April and May is going to be tremendous here in Israel. We're going to be celebrating Israel birthday 70 years since the not birth of Israel, but with the rebirth of Israel in 1948 when prophecies came to life and the Jewish people were brought back from the north, south, east and the west. So there you have it. <coughs> Just a little update about the embassy move. Uh, it's so exciting. So Jerusalem Jane signing off. Have a wonderful day and thank you for standing with Israel and the Jewish nation. Mwah. Bye.